What's up card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central coming at you with an updated great nature deck profile. Stand up! Vanguard! Starting off with our starter, we have Blackboard Parrot, uh, mainly for our early game. We want to shove him into the soul, target one of our units, and then when it's put into the drop zone, we can draw another card, so essentially plus him. On to our grade threes, we have three honorary Professor Chatnor, our break right of the deck, gives plus 10k to uh, whatever unit rides it, and then whenever a rearguard attacks, your unit can gain plus four. So basically off our legion, which are other grade three, Tester Fox, you can give our unit plus eight during that swing. And you mainly want to sit on Chatnor just for the Kath Paluk engine in order to plus really, really hard off uh, damage that your opponent gives you. So you're drawing essentially for every swing, which is great. Then our other grade three is Magic Scientist Tester Fox for Legion, since Legion is very essential in our format right now. And then its skill is that during your end phase, when one of your rear guards is put into the drop zone, if this unit is Legion, choose a card from your damage zone and turn it face up. If the unit put into the drop zone has the same card name as a unit on your Vanguard, which is Tester Fox, or the Grade 2, which is Researcher Fox. You can draw a card, choose up to two cards from your drop zone, and put them onto the bottom of your deck in any order. So Tester Fox can really set the tempo and slow down the game, so you're basically putting in triggers towards late game at the bottom of your deck every single time. And it also gives plus 4k to another unit when it attacks. So combos really really well with Chatnor and our last grade 3 is one of the new ones from the uh, what is that genius strategy tech booster which is special up was it? appointment professor Ashrusha so our, one of our restanding vanguards of the deck when one of your rear guards gains success so choose a card from your hand and discard it when this unit becomes successful you may pay the cost if you do stand this unit and when this unit attacks, you choose one of your regards, give it plus four, and triggers cannot stack onto that unit. So basically the column that you want to essentially give uh, triggers to and just like restand it, if you have a crayon tiger column, uh, the trigger effects will not apply. Then we have three uh, illusionary, illusion scientist researcher fox. So skill during your end phase, CB1, when this unit is placed into the drop zone from rear, if you have a Vanguard in Legion, you can pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your units on Vanguard. Search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as that unit. Reveal it to your opponent and add it to your hand. So, Researcher Fox, very, very good, just recyclable. And just overall bringing consistency to the deck when you are in Legion. Then we have three, Crayon Tiger. Uh, skill is when it's boosted. CB1, restand another of your great nature units, give it plus four, and then you can draw when it is, uh, oh, you retire it, then you can draw off it. So Crayon Tiger at three, I just prefer him at three because when I had him at two, I didn't really see him, so three is uh, the right amount for me. Then I have four Bino Tiger, since you need to retire things in the early game in order for uh, Blackboard Pair to be very effective. You want to be able to kill uh, your units early. Then we have two compass line to do basically the same thing as Bino Tiger. So those are the grade two. Starting off with our grade ones, we have four coiling duckbill. Nice new alternate art, but I do like the OG as well. So both are very very cute. Otherwise, uh, target one of your great nature units um, when it's placed into the drop zone. You may draw a card. So four for Coiling Duckbill, then I have three. Uh, honorary Assistant Mika Basaru, uh, one of the better, best cards in Great Nature in my opinion because you can grab, you can run a low amount of threes and grab them at any point in time with Mika Basaru as his skill is essentially the same as Duckbill, but you can grab a three. And then we need, I have four Stride Fodders uh, in order to stride as much as possible since we do run a low amount of threes but you do draw a lot of cards so you could just play around with the ones a little bit then I have four 
on flipping perfect guards since since his deck doesn't essentially have a on flipping engine besides the G guard that I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, so those are the great ones. On to our triggers. I do run 12 crits, so two Cutter Falcon, two Sonic the Hedgehog, two of the Cobra, two of the new draft unicorn, probably the coolest looking unicorn ever, then four of our ruler chame chameleon, in case we don't have any 10ks in, t in our hand we can just grab um, 10k, but I don't really like using the skill because it baits me into using counter blast and taking a trigger from the deck which is not as great. Then we run two of our heal, two, two new heals which are awesome. One broadcast bunny and the new and the old goat, right? The greatest of all time. So those are the triggers. On to our stride zone, our G Guardians. We have three of our Immortality Professor Kundalini. Yeah, I believe. So uh, basically his skill is you can choose one of your rear guards, uh, give it a skill that if it's retired you get to unflip. So you could also stack this if you G guard multiple times in a turn, but uh, one of the uh, best G guards in my opinion, especially for Great Nature since it does lack an unflip engine, then one of our G guards from the new set, it's the Ard what is that? Head of the Bastion Ardillo, super cool guy, easy, you can choose up to as many rear guards as you want to retire, then if you have three open spaces you get plus 10k, so pretty easy to fulfill. You can just intercept with a unit and then be like, oh, I choose none to retire, and it gains plus 10k if you have three open rears. So that's really, really handy. Or you can clear your board but, uh, if you're playing against control, anything like that. Um, so that's awesome. So Ardillo is best at one. Or you could switch it to Screw if you prefer because of the drawing uh, ability of this deck. On to our offensive strides. Onto our, uh, onto our offensive strides, we have two Kath Palug, uh, probably the greatest card ever in this deck because you'll just take all the damage and then use all your counter blasts in one turn and draw like a million cards. So Kath Palug, definitely one of the best. And then two Hemithris for, um, like, let's just say randomly you don't have CB and you kind of just want to make like a really fat column and still be able to draw. So Hemethris adds that. Also you can um, I, I notice in a dark face matchup you'll get you guys will probably see it later on. Uh, you can just kill a unit so then it doesn't stay on the field from like the Giga Paralyzation. Um, so Hemethris just does come in clutch. You can change this up to three, it just depends on your play style. And then next we have four of our new superhero, better than Magnamar in my opinion which is Sage Saint Professor Big Belly. So his skill is CB1, choose a fa uh, face down, Big Belly, and turn it face up. Then choose one of your rear guards, and it gets plus four for each face up G zone unit until end of turn. So your ideal board will have you have like Crayon Tiger and another unit, and then obviously boosters, and just stack all the power on one side and then just go ham basically and stack triggers as well and then when this unit attack hits a vanguard choose up to the same number of your other rear guards as the number of face up cards in your G zone and stand them so this card definitely puts a lot of pressure because you can just swing van stack all triggers on one rear guard and then swing that unboosted and then give it the crayon and then crayon tiger and then have super fat and if you basically hit, you win, right? Because you're just standing like ridiculous amounts of units. Then to change up, uh, depending on the pace of the game, to Magnamar, um, everyone should kind of know what he does, but he just has the guard restrict for your rear guards. They can't perfect guard it. So essentially the same combo, but I think Sage Saint is a lot better uh, for the amount of pressure than one Wisdom Teller for that on hit pressure. I might change this to Phoenix, just depends, obviously Phoenix is just a lot better in control. Then we run, we run one Aflac, uh, well, Omniscience, Dragon, Alphnac. So he's mainly best in like Kagero or even, does it work in Freeze Ray, Josh? 
Afnak? Maybe. Oh, it doesn't give them resist. Oh, no, no, no. Like but just but yeah, just mainly this is the denial Griffin stu uh, Griffin stopper stopper. Otherwise, it's like whatever. Who cares? Like you just need one. Don't waste your money on him, in my opinion. But I mean, he does round out the stride zone for a great nature. I hope everyone enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Anything that can make the deck better. And any matchups you uh, you wish to see with the deck, just let us know. Otherwise, uh, keep killing people with belly. Vanguard Central out.